hello friends and viewers and subscribers. Um, today's video is going to be about the first time, um, the very first time that I knew life was very unfair. And I didn't know what else to take a picture of um, um, or to film at. But I'm going to film it in this particular area um, where I just fed my dog some special treats. And I want to, there's something I want to say off the bat about this particular location and about, um, you know, things in general. You see all of this wet, muddy snow and strewn leaves and soggy mud, soggy soil, and um, um, ice left over, and <laughs> a frozen, yeah, a frozen water bowl. Um, but anyway, what I wanted to say about that is that the reality of the winter weather is that it can be very nasty. Now, when you when you look on Christmas cards and you see beautiful snowy embankments and you see, you know, um, Switzerland hillsides with, you know, huge amounts of snow or um, flocked trees with beautiful fresh snowfall, fall, that is not the reality of snow. That is only um, a very portion of um, a wintertime experience. Um, now, I'm here to show you um, how decrepit snow can actually be. Um, it falls everywhere, every single place that you don't want it to be. And the dogs obviously aren't going to be, um, you know, sitting on an area where there's snow and mud and ice and icicles and stuff like that. But whenever we see images of life, whether it's the fall or the summer or the, you know, uh, any, any countryside, there is a huge negative component to it. And there is a huge realistic component to it. Um, people like to, to say how beautiful the, the fall, the fall trees are up in the Northeast. <laughs> However, those photographs are um, cropped. They're sometimes enhanced. And they're also taken on some very rare days when we have some sun because there is a lot of rain. There is a lot of cold, drizzly, um, uncomfortable weather. And then there's wind and all the, the leaves fall and they don't fall predictably. Um, sometimes your favorite tree um, can lose its leaves very quickly or sometimes it can hold on to those leaves. So people have this um, glorified and mesmerized image. They have a romantic image of life in general. Um, they may even remember the best times of their youth and their childhood thinking that childhood was glorious and it certainly wasn't glorious. Um, because if you take a realistic perspective, an account of your past, um, it was certainly not glorious and it wasn't anything to be romanticized. So, I'm here to tell you about how nasty snow can be because it is precipitation and when it melts, as you can see, there's mud. Mud and dampness and nastiness and pockets of water and some things get ruined. This is an outdoor furniture piece, but as you can see, I mean, it, it'll probably last till next year, but it's not going to be dried out for any time soon. And snow rots things. Snow is precipitation. And uh, on the driveway over there, we have pockets of snow, which means it's slippery, which means we have to put salt down. And let me tell you about salt, folks. <laughs> For those people who don't live up north or um, out east, snow, I mean salt, is chalky white. If you get snow on your feet and bring it into the house, 
it's nothing but white chalky residue all over, especially on dark surfaces. And also in your car, when you step out on your driveway or in a parking lot where they have um, dispersed salt, then you are going to get it on your feet and you're going to track it in your car. Now it makes white, salty, chalky patches in your car. So that's just lovely, isn't it? Now try getting it on your black pants because your black pants um, are long because it's winter. And um, so then um, the bottom of the black pants are going to be chalky. And when the salt dries out, it's actually stiff. So it must be washed. Okay, so um, um, I'm uh, I'm a person to shed the light on reality and realism, and yeah, life is not about you know pretty things and um, convenient things. It's about mess. And look at my dogs here. Look at their muddy feet. Look at this. Look at these muddy little feet and the hair. She's a short dog. Chiquita's short and her hair drags on the ground. So when I go back inside, I'm going to be, um, you know, drying off her her bottom and her, her feet and all of their feet. So it's very, very nasty. So snow is just mud. Snow is just rain. Um, snow is precipitation. So anybody who sees beautiful pictures of anything whether it's um, castles, whether it's um, fall, autumn, whether it's snow, um, you know, whether it's a beautiful beach. Oh, let me talk about beaches. Try Cancun in the summertime or spring. If you go after April to Cancun, it is miserable. <laughs> so um, try Mexico City if you, if you want to go to, um, try the middle of Mexico if you want to go during the summer. But most of um, the beach towns in Mexico are just miserably humid. So you may see a beautiful beach on a photograph on Facebook or, you know, your friend's um, travel logs, pictures. But you know what? They're not telling you the complete truth because Mexico in the summer and the spring is absolutely unbearable. No matter how beautiful the beach is, just like... No matter how beautiful the snow and the autumn leaves can be uh, up in the northeast, we have ice storms, power outages, we have mud, um, some houses will flood because of gutters being backed up, um, some houses will have leaking and flooding from pipes bursting, um, then we have emergency service crews, oh, and, there, and there's also fire in the winter because of all the... Um, you know, ele electricity from heating sources. Um, so it's very, very complicated, folks. <clears throat> Seeing a picture, um, I could show you a beautiful picture of, of anything, a pet, a baby, um, a house. And, you know, there's a realistic component to all of that. In fact, um, I recently got dressed up for an event and people tell me how beautiful I look. Diane, you look so good. You you always look so good. No, I don't. In fact, I've done many videos where I've just rolled out of bed and taken a video, no makeup, no hair done, nothing. And the, the picture that they want to believe of me online is the beautiful picture, which just blows my mind because it took forever to get to that stage. I mean, it took, you know, two hours of preparation and, you know, I probably um, bought an outfit prior to that and, and tested the outfit on and make sure everything worked. Um, and then possibly, you know, I walked out into the ice or the snow in order to get to my car or get to a parking lot um, to get to the event to where I looked absolutely <laughs> stunning. So, so anyway... <laughs> Um, let me go on to my, oh, sh let me go on to my second part of the video. And that is when I first learned that life was unfair. Okay, girls, come on. <laughs> um, my very first experience where I realized that life was very unfair 
was that I was jumping rope. I was in my grandmother's house and I was jumping rope and my dad and my mom were holding the jump rope. Um, like I say, I was about 12 years old and um, I love jumping rope. In fact, I couldn't um, get them to, you know, help me jump rope often enough. It was such a passion of mine. So, hold on, this is gonna be a second video here.